every marriage has its own mountain when you marry to them your mountain is that your pregnancy must delay how do you survive if you go and marry an infidel how do you survive no marriage is certain and nobody is certain getting into marriage at a point in time it is a gambling nobody ever married that had a hundred percent assurance that he was taking the right decision and anybody that tells me he had a hundred percent assurance that he was taking the right decision is a liar in fact the first three months will let you know you were wrong but in reality it's not a gambling it's not in reality it's not but if you leave it to chance it will be because you will never know the true character of the person you are marrying you will never you may have had the relationship for five years six years eight years but the real nature of the person will never be revealed in relationship because in relationship or to mommy fear in relationship psychologically he or she does not really depend on you so you will never know who you are dealing with so there'll be mountains you are going to face it will shock you that in relationship that young man will never cheat on you but in marriage you will try cheating i have seen many people working doing well in life until they married first two months they lost their jobs and if you were a wife and you entered that marriage because he had a good job what do you do we've had people very healthy until after wedding they were diagnosed cancer what do you do the matthew 7 24 speaks of two groups of people the wise man and the foolish man he said those that hear my words and do it are likened unto a wise man that built his house on the rock and the storm and the flood came it beat the house but it did not fall but he said i will liken the other to a foolish one who heard my word and did not practice he said the flood came and the house was brought down with this is not the usual marriage relationship seminars i'm not here to come and narrate my life to you where we went to dubai and we went to this and i did it my life experience and my marriage experience will not be yours so i must teach you the real keys every human being all the seven to eight billion people are different you can marry my twin brother and the experience will be different from marrying me but there's a common denominator to handling all marriages that's what i'm teaching you now anybody that wants to marry you because they don't know the word and they don't like the word and they are marrying you so you you push them to learn the word or something you are not safe what you love you don't need motivation to do it the way you love sex nobody motivates you to have sex behind the name straight person will be able to say okay says that you boy we know you nobody motivates you to do what you love most of the crisis we are seeing in marriages today is because people don't know what god has said and we keep on praying telling god asking god questions concerning what he has said your character will be misguided if the word of god has no place in your life because all you know is john 3 16. too many cases come to my table at a time too many cases and genuinely people think they are right but if you should put their character on the scale of god's word they are totally wrong yet they are fighting their way through that they are right then i concluded that the first law that many relationships have broken and many marriages have broken and innocent people are paying for it is the law of the word the word can solve every single challenge in marriage and ignoring the word can produce all crises in marriage let me show you something in genesis 31 was more subtle than any beast of the field which the lord god has made and he said unto the woman yea has god said ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden look at that look at that somebody say every tree of the garden if god really said they shouldn't eat of every tree would they be surviving they were only eating from trees 
so if you come and say if god said you should not eat of every tree then what have i been eating from many trees were planted it's only one tree but the devil comes and, and begin to twist what god has said it, it looks like he's saying don't eat of every tree that's what is happening to us right now when suggestions comes from hell to begin to generalize everything and men are that and men are that and men are that it's not all men but the devil will let you feel that all men generalize everything to crush you all women so you begin to treat your precious wife precious husband miserably because you have an idea that all men are that all women are that and then look at what happens verse 2 and the woman said unto the serpent we may eat of the fruit of the trees of of the garden but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden god has said ye shall not eat of neither neither shall ye touch it or you die and the serpent said unto the woman ye shall not surely die for god do it know that in the day ye eat thereof then your eyes shall be open and ye shall be as gods knowing good and evil verse 6 lastly and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise she took of the fruit thereof and did it and also gave also to her husband with her look at this simple thing just this small story brought all crises into marriage one disobedience without god's voice your marriage will fail there are many of you the reason why you are misbehaving in your marriage is that god has refused to speak you are actually misguided misled and very soon you will pay for your errors because there is no system guiding your marriage which is the word of god and the lord told me that insist and make sure that every one of them will have a devotional life and will have value for studying my word and hearing my voice it doesn't matter the challenge and the crisis your marriage is going through god always has something to say about it if your ear can't hear him if your spirit can't discern him there is a written bible begin to search you will find answers to the long-standing questions of your marriage and relationship why is it that every man disappoints me why is it that every man that comes is about there is an answer from genesis to revelation is encapsulated the solutions and the answers to the challenges of marriages we are doing everything possible to find the solution somewhere else for instance first peter 3 speaks of such a beautiful scenario he said that likewise ye wives be in subjection to your own husband somebody say subjection that if any obey not the word they also may without the word be won by the conversation of their wives so a wife's lifestyle can convert a husband while they uphold your chest conversation when you see conversation that means lifestyle while they behold they just have to behold it don't prove it to them just just live your godly life while they behold your chest conversation coupled with fear we are in a generation that the most disrespected human beings are husbands he said while they behold your chests godly spiritual lifestyle coupled with fear whose adorning let it not be that outward adorning of plating the hair and of what wearing of gold or of putting on apparel you don't listen it is in relationship you use plating of hair to move a man in marriage beauty is not plating the hair it's not wearing gold or putting on apparel it doesn't matter how beautiful you look outside marriage the beauty is on the inside and he's telling you how a woman can win her husband who's adorning let it not be don't go and watch telenovela to build marriage then the woman slaps the, the husband and the husband kneels down and apologizes. it is a movie <laughs> 
it is a movie you know there is a picture they are painting that picture is not in bible but let it be the hidden man of the heart in that which is not corruptible even the ornament number one so your golden ornament is not a golden chain even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit which is in the sight of god of great price every single time you are breaking scripture he says that a meek and a quiet he said for after this manner this is the manner in the old time the holy women also who trusted in god adorned themselves being in subjection unto their own husband he said this is how the old holy women adorned themselves even as sarah obeyed what abraham calling him lord whose daughters ye are don't tell yourself you were daughter of sarah and yet you are fighting your husband whose daughters ye are as long as ye do well and are not afraid with any amazement as long as ye do well sarah calls you my daughter likewise now can we read that of the men likewise ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel as being heirs together of the grace of life that your prayers be not hindered wouldn't even say many women are cut off verse 1 to verse 6 if you touch me even god says your prayer will not be answered are you a daughter of sarah you must get yourself fit in the equation for listen it is from verse 1 to verse 6 kind of women that their husband's prayers will not be answered if they touch them <laughs> listen if you are not as meek as sarah and your husband fire you if he prays god will hear Hey, the law says the bible says we are weaker vessels and you have to deal with us in knowledge otherwise even your prayer will not be heard and as i'm there now i'm not happy with you so your prayer will not be heard but your husband is doing well in life can't you see that those whose prayers are not heard are those whose wives are submissive and yet they are abusing them god will fight those men a man that you are abusing <laughs> a man that you are abusing you are still saying god will not hear the man's prayer listen there is an anti-marriage agenda it's on few years to come they want women to feel comfortable marrying women and men feel comfortable marrying men that is the agenda so what do we do let us exchange position let us make women feel that they are the heads and let us make men go under women if we do that no home will stand and when homes keeps breaking up very soon men will follow men women will follow women the hope of the world now is the church for the church to rise and position men where they belong and position women where they belong otherwise there will be trouble <laughs> it's just a matter of time your husband cannot submit to you again if you keep pushing your husband under your feet it's just a matter of time a day will come you won't find him at home again because it's not in him there's a seed in him that tells him he must be in control making women feel that i can't submit to a man and the man too is saying that if you can't submit to me i can't really love you but there is nobody that stays in the world that will not find his position in the home you should be scared if you are a man and you see in the bible according to ephesians 5 that you must love your wife as christ loves the church but you have not really sat down to study it yourself 
you should be scared if you're a woman and the bible says submit to your husband as the church submits to christ if you have really sat down to understand it you won't behave the way you behave the issue is that we are all running about but no one is sitting on the bible to read to understand the most dangerous part is those of you who have set your date already you have set date but you are not a bible person you are only a movie person you are already putting yourself into trouble and from today may every one of us receive the grace to stick to the word of god listen challenges may come but consult the word first i don't know the challenge you are going through right now in your relationship or in your marriage the first law is find it out from scriptures you are going through delays you are going through disappointment you see we substitute it the first thing is that i need prayer the first thing is i need prayer no the first thing is you need what god has said if you went to marriage and pregnancy is not coming you go back to what god has said there shall be none barren then you personalize the word you are going through delays you go back into the word and each one must find his mates the mouth of the lord has spoken it and his spirit will bring them together you personalize the word no delay can stand from today somebody is receiving the grace to study the word they asked jesus why did moses bring in the certificate of divorce he said because of the hardness of your heart the moment you see that in matthew 19 you know very well that what brings divorce is hardness of heart so what's the condition of my heart why are you running after many things stories yet no impact you have read all kinds of novels yet it's not reflecting in your life why don't you take time and go through genesis to revelations the things concerning you have you not seen about jesus the bible says and jesus spoke to them from the book of psalms from the psalms to moses all the things concerning himself have you find the things concerning your marriage in bible jesus returned from 40 days and 49 fasting and prayer he came back and opened the bible said that this day after he finished reading the spirit of the lord is upon me he has anointed me he said this day has this scripture been fulfilled in your eyes from today scriptures will be fulfilled in your marriage in your relationship in your life in the name of jesus in sticking to scriptures eh, it may lead you to either strengthen your marriage or lose your marriage if you see anybody who has lost his or her marriage that you knew the person was a spiritual person don't condemn there are times that without scriptures and without the voice of god your marriage will work but it will land you in hell all you need to do is to stick to the voice of god by number one studying scriptures and number two allowing the holy spirit to lead you some if they leave the marriage it will lead them to death some if they stay it will lead them to death so the most important thing is that what is god say never miss the voice of god with your emotions some of you do you want to leave then you connect god's voice to live some of you do you want to stay then you connect god's voice to stay you start to search the word until the voice of the lord becomes very clear to you 